Hi, one hour smart home here and today we're going to show you how to set up a ring doorbell chime. So this is a wireless doorbell chime that's going to connect to the ring doorbells, all the wired versions and the battery powered versions. And what's nice about this is that this just plugs into any outlet and then you have a doorbell chime anywhere in your home. So let's get started showing you how to set up and connect the ring doorbell chime. In order to get the chime set up, you need to have your doorbell already installed and set up. So we've already done that and we're gonna connect it to this doorbell at the top of the Ring app here. Now, in order to connect it, what we need to do is click on the upper left-hand corner in the menu icon, and then we're going to click on set up a device about midway through the menu. Now we need to select chimes as the device that we're going to set up. It says Ring would like to access your camera. So just go ahead and say OK. Now on the back of the trunk, there is a QR code. So go ahead and scan that QR code with your phone. Now that we've scanned the code, we can go ahead and plug in the Ring doorbell chime and keep working on the app. A notification popped up, allow Ring to use your location. We're going to go ahead and click allow once here. It says, where would you like to set up your chime? We're going to confirm that address and click continue. Now we need to name our chime. I'm going to label this as downstairs. It says, plug the chime into a standard wall outlet. We've done that, so I'm going to click continue. It says, is the light on your chime flashing green? It is, so I'm going to click that top option there. It says Ring wants to join the Wi-Fi network, Ring Setup D4. I'm going to click Join. It says Ring would like to find and connect devices on your local network. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to click the Wi-Fi network that we set our Ring doorbell up on. So this is really important. I'm going to select that and now I'm going to enter the Wi-Fi password. Now it's connecting the chime to our Wi-Fi network. Congratulations, the setup is complete. I'm going to click continue. It says your chime is updating. This may take up to 15 minutes. So we're gonna test it out as soon as this update gets completed. Now, one thing to note is that I am setting this up on an Apple phone. I tried setting it up on an Android phone and I kept getting issues with the Ring device connecting to Android. So after about 15 minutes of failed attempts, I just switched over to an iPhone to get this connected and then it connected with no issues. And as soon as I connected it with the iPhone, it then appeared on the Android phone app. So if you're having issues with this with your Android phone, you might wanna have a friend come over and set this up or somebody else help you set this up that has an iPhone because after 15 or 20 minutes, I still could not get the ring chime connected using an Android phone. So. That's just something to note if you have an Android phone. I don't know why it's like that, but I couldn't get it to work. So let's go ahead and when this update completes, we're going to go ahead and test it out by pressing the doorbell button. So now let's go ahead and we're gonna go test the chime by pressing the ring doorbell. So we tested it out there and you could definitely hear the ring doorbell chime ring. And in the background, you could also hear my dog, which doesn't like the doorbell ringing at all. And speaking of that, that is a really nice feature with the chimes. If you get one of these wireless ones, you can go ahead and click on it in here and you can snooze it so that if you don't want that doorbell to ring, maybe you've got a sleeping baby, maybe you don't wanna be disturbed, or maybe your dog doesn't like it, you can go ahead and snooze the chime and just get alerts on your phone, and then go ahead and unsnooze it later. So I'm gonna click out of this. And there's a couple other settings in the Ring app for the doorbell chime. So we can go ahead and click on audio settings here, and we can adjust the chime alerts or the chime tone. So let's go ahead and click on chime alerts up here. And that's what you can do when we initially set this up. You can do motion or you can do a doorbell press. So I'm gonna click out of that. But what also is nice is you can go to chime tones and you can change your chime tone. If you don't like that one, you've got a wide variety here. You can even choose the xylophone if you want or a train whistle dogs barking that would really probably not be good for the dog so let's go ahead we're going to try a train whistle just see how that one sounds 
And you can also then adjust the chime volume here. So we can go over here and we can scroll this up or down here at the top and move that around if we want. So chime tones, we can move this chime volume up here like this. So let's put this all the way over to one side. And then let's go ahead and see what motions is. We can have a different alert for the motion. So if you have both motion and the ring doorbell press turned on, you could have one for a motion alert and one for a doorbell press alert. So now let's go back to the main menu here. We're gonna click back again to get to the ring app. And now we are in general settings. Let's go ahead and click on that. We can change the name. We can change the location. We can turn on or off this status light here by flipping this, or we can remove this device. So let's, so let's go back to the main menu now. And the last setting we've got here in the Ring app is the device health. It just gives us a Wi-Fi connection strength and a couple other items here for the Wi-Fi network password, or if you need to change the Wi-Fi network. So that is pretty much all the settings you've got for the Ring doorbell chime. Now, another feature that I like about these, other than you can plug them in anywhere, is that you can have more than one of these connected to one doorbell. So you could have two or three of these all connected to one doorbell. So if you have a basement and a first floor and a second floor, you could have one on each floor so that you would be able to hear this chime. Or maybe you want to put one of these in your bedroom and you want to put one somewhere else in the house, maybe a hallway. You could do that with the Ring Wi-Fi chimes and you can place them wherever you want. So other than the issue I had getting this set up with Android phones, which is a pretty big issue, it worked flawlessly on getting it set up on an iPhone, no problems there. And then once connected, it worked just fine. So before we go, let's go ahead. We're gonna press that button one more time now that we changed it to a train whistle and see what happens. <laughs> So as you can see, we definitely did get a train whistle there. So that is an interesting ring doorbell combination. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your ring doorbell chime or how to connect a ring doorbell chime to a ring doorbell. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any links below if you want to support us. Thank you.